Hi classmates, I know you think that I'm just sitting at the beach all day, but what I'm really doing is sitting inside playing toytheater.com, which is a really cool interactive technology tool that's used to manipulate fractions and many other things for that matter. Um, as you can see here, let me get back to my starting page. Okay, so this is something that I just googled uh, toytheater.com equivalent fractions to take me right to the area that I wanted to be in. There was no subscription, there was no login, nothing. So you went, you get to go right to the website and start manipulating. So I'm going to go to the fraction strips first, but they also offer fraction bars and fraction circles to work with. It's going to pull it up right here and then you can see the strips here. Um, let's say I wanted to start with a hole. So I just see my hand that just drags it up to the top and if I wanted to see another fraction that would equal that same shaded area like thirds, I'll just bring up my thirds. There's one one-third, two one-third, three one-third. I can see that three one-thirds equal a hole or three-thirds equal a hole. I'll just bring those back down. What if I wanted to just see, like for instance, what do the two-thirds equal? Because I want to find an equivalent shaded area or an area that's shaded equally to what is shaded here. So let's see, and let me try my fifths. Two. Oh, that one's not quite enough. One more might be too much. So I don't think that the one-fifths are going to work for that. I'm going to go to the sixths here. So I drag it up. Two one six, three one six, and four one six. Okay, so now I can see that four sixths is equal to two thirds. I can click on my pencil down here, and if I wanted to write the fraction out to see it, I'd put a two thirds is equal to. Four sixths. And I hope you guys have fun manipula manipulating your equivalent fractions too.